They are ready to protect the most deadly weapons in America's arsenal. And they're stationed here in North Dakota at Minot Air Force Base. Jim Olson is live in Minot to tell us about the Tactical Response Force, or TRF. Jim, good evening. You know, they take their jobs very seriously. After all, they are guarding nuclear weapons, right? And they take their training pretty seriously, too, even while having some fun competition that's weaved into all of that training. It starts here at ground level with push-ups, moves up to the pull-up bar, crosses North Dakota terrain as quickly as possible, and even heads up into the sky. It's training, physical exertion designed to push the men and women of the 91st Space Wing's Tactical Response Force to be ready to respond to any issue that might arise at any of the 150 missile sites scattered around 8,000 square miles in the region. We can get dropped off anywhere from 800 meters to an unknown distance and have to make it to that location within a certain amount of time. Three, two, one, go. So when Master Sergeant Smith says go, his team begins its sunrise training at a high level and keeps it up through sprints and knee bends and tire flipping and some good old weightlifting. That's 475 pounds right there. The physical training, PT, has many goals, fitness, readiness, and most important, building a team. The PT's not for them. You know, the PT's make sure that they can take care of the person that's next to them. An amazing opportunity. I consider them brothers to me already with the tryouts and everything. So we've gotten pretty close, even with a short amount of time, I'd say. She says something very important. The culture was taking care of others uh, and pretty much uh, they become our family. And they need to trust each other like family when they're doing something like this. This is repelling training where members of the TRF team have to learn to descend quickly a long distance. It's the kind of skill they could need if ever a missile site had to be recaptured. One of a thousand scenarios that we got to prepare for and it's, you know, we train to it in hopes that we never have to use it but you always have to be ready and have that tool in your toolbox. It's a toolbox that counts on trust to handle the up, down, up, down, highs, lows, and physical and mental preparation so that the one time they have to respond to a nuclear missile site and protect the fiercest weapons in the world, they can lean on each other to get the job done. So, you know, I was tempted to give that rappelling a try today after watching Amber Wheeler go over the edge over the weekend. A couple of non-TRF members did try it today. The public affairs officers who accompanied me to the training took it on and nailed it. Both 2nd Lieutenant Gabriel Cushing and you're looking at 2nd Lieutenant Danielle Lacero. They were up to the challenge today. I talked to Danielle afterwards and she was threatening to do it again. Personally, I'll just keep my feet on the ground. Yeah, we'll leave it to the pros. Some impressive air.